Hey, welcome to Mad English TV. What is rap? Well, it's a kind of music. But it's different from other kinds of music because it doesn't really have singing. It's more like talking that rhymes. Okay, let's look at an example. So here are a few lines from a song called Without Me by Eminem. Okay, a tisket a tasket, I'll go tit for tat with. Anyone who's talking this shit, that shit. Chris Kirkpatrick, you can get your ass kicked. Worse than them little and biscuit bastards. Okay, you can probably hear all the rhyming that's going on here. Okay, tisket a tasket, tit for tat with. This shit, that shit. Chris Kirkpatrick, get your ass kicked. Limp biscuit bastards. Okay, so there's some really clever rhyming going on here. Okay, so this is basically what rap music is, right? It's a lot of rhymes, it's usually really fast, and it doesn't have a lot of melody, okay? La 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 la. Okay, most music has a lot of melody, but rap music is just sort of sort of a flat tone. I mean, there can be some melody, but it's not as much as other kinds of like opera music, right? Opera music is just like really high melody, like high notes and low notes and, and high notes, okay? Rap music is just more like straight. So rap music, I think, is really difficult for people to understand. I mean, you probably find most English music hard to understand. But I think rap music is especially hard because it's really fast and there's a lot of slang. Okay, if you don't understand the slang, it's really hard to understand the song. And I'll be honest with you, I don't really know a lot of the slang. A lot of rap music is sort of a subculture. You have your main culture and then you have a subculture which is a smaller group that's sort of interested in one thing. Okay, so every subculture will have its own slang. And I don't understand all the slang in rap music, but I understand some of it, and I want to teach you some of the most popular slang words in uh, rap music, okay? Gangsta, hood, crib, you'll hear these words all the time. Okay, what's a gangsta? A gangster is a person in a gang, okay? A gang member. Now, a lot of rappers have been in gangs or they grew up in communities that had a lot of gang violence. Okay, for example, 50 Cent, okay? He's one of the most famous rappers ever. He was shot nine times, shot with nine bullets in his body. Can you believe that? Wow, that's crazy. Okay, now let's look at the word hood. Okay, hood is short for neighborhood. It's where people live. Okay, so you'll hear rappers talk about the hood all the time. And in a lot of the case, I think they're talking about the ghetto. Okay, a ghetto is like a slum. It's an area of a city that has very high poverty, uh, very high crime rates, it's really not a good place to live, but a lot of rappers grew up in slums. Okay, now let's look at this word, crib. Okay, this is a crib here. A crib is like a baby's bed. But when rappers use the word crib, they're not talking about this. They're talking about their house. Okay, so if they say, let's go back to my crib, it's like, go back to my house. Okay. So what do rappers rap about? Well, they can rap about anything, but very often in rap music, you'll see these themes, okay? Violence, money, drugs, sex. Let's look at some examples, okay? Here's an example of violence in some rap music, okay? Here's a song by Lil Wayne. It's called The Sky Is The Limit, okay? And you don't want to fuck with a soldier. Use your head or I'll take it off your shoulder. Mail it to your mom's with a dozen of roses. <laughs> okay, so that's really violent. So uh, you don't want to fuck with a soldier. I guess he's talking about himself 
as a soldier. You don't want to you don't want to mess with him. Uh, use your head. It means think. Or I'll take it off your shoulder. So he's going to take the guy's head off his shoulders. So kill him, right? Mail it to your mums. So he's going to mail the guy's head to his mums with a dozen of roses. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty violent. I don't really know why he's saying that, but that's an example of violence in rap music. Okay, let's take a look at an example of money in rap music. So this is a song called Brand New, also by Lil Wayne. Okay, money in the mattress, money in the attic, money on my mind, money is my habit. Stay on the grind until money's automatic. Bitch, I love money. I'm a fucking fanatic. Okay, so you can see all these rhyming words here. Okay, this is a mattress. A mattress is something you sleep on. And what's an attic? Have you ever heard this word before? An attic is the part of the house that's in between the ceiling and the roof. Okay, so this part inside here is called the attic. It's usually dark. There's no lights. It's a place where people store their old things. So there's usually a lot of boxes or other junk in people's attics. Okay, um, what else here? Stay on the grind. That means keep working hard. Uh, and fanatic. Okay, what's a fanatic? A fanatic is someone who's crazy about something. So he's a fanatic about money. Okay, if someone's a sports fanatic, that means they're crazy about sports. They probably play sports, they watch sports, they think about sports, they probably even dream about sports when they sleep. Okay, so let's take a look at an example of drugs in rap music. Okay, here's some lines from the song High All The Time by 50 Cent. High means uh, the happy feeling that you get when you're on drugs. Okay, so, nigga, I'm high all the time. Okay, so that word at the beginning, that's called the N-word. And black people use it all the time when they talk to each other. But it's actually a very offensive word to them uh, if it's said by someone from another race. Okay, so if white people use the N-word, that's very offensive to most black people. Okay, so remember, don't ever say the N-word. Okay, so I'm high all the time. I smoke that good shit. I stay high all the time, man. I'm on some hood shit. Give me some dro, purple haze, and some chocolate. Give me a Dutch and a lighter. I'll spark shit. And stay high all the time. I smoke that good shit. I'm high all the time, man. I'm on some hood shit. Okay, so he's talking about being high a lot. Now, obviously, he's not talking about chocolate the way we know chocolate. This must be uh, a slang term for some sort of drug, okay? Now, the thing about rap music is that there's so many different words for drugs. So I think he's talking about marijuana here, okay? Purple haze, chocolate dro. To be honest, I don't really know because I've never done drugs. I've never really been in a community that does drugs. But we can tell from the context here that he's talking about drugs, not chocolate. Okay, that's basically what you need to know there. So let's take a look at an example of sex in rap music. Okay, so here's a song called Just a Little Bit by 50 Cent. Um, so here's how it goes. All a nigga really need is a little bit. Not a lot, baby girl, just a little bit. We can head to the crib in a little bit. Crib, right? We can head means go. We can go to my house in a little bit. I can show you how I live in a little bit. I want to unbutton your pants just a little bit. Take them off or pull them down just a little bit. Get to kiss in and touch in a little bit. Get to lick in and suck in a little bit. Okay, so this is obviously sexual. Or you might not understand it as sexual, but it's it's suggestive. The word suggestive means it's it's suggesting sexual content. Okay, so unbutton 
Unbutton means this, these are buttons here, so if you unbutton your shirt, but he's saying, I want to unbutton your pants, okay? He's talking to a girl, okay? I want to unbutton your pants a little bit and pull them down. M means them, it's, it's short for them, okay? Take them off or pull them down just a little bit. Get to kissing and touching a little bit. Get to licking and sucking a little bit. Okay, so obviously this is sort of suggestive sexual content, okay? Um, so, that's it. Let's do some homework. I wanna know whether you like rap. Do you like rap? Do you have rap in your country, in your language? Let me know in the comments right down there, and I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.